Awesome. Well, um, I think we'll, we'll get started, guys. Um, first off, thanks a lot for, for joining, Lee. Um, so, guys, today we are here with Lee Ziang of uh, Harmony Protocol. Uh, he's a, a core member at Harmony. Um, and this uh, AMA series that we've been doing over the last sort of week um, is part of our um, one-year birthday celebration. So we, we've kind of been opening um, opening things up um, to give our partners and, and everyone who's, who's kind of helped us along this last year a chance to kind of, um, you know, talk about some of the things that they're, 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 the achievements they're excited about um, and uh, upcoming things that they're, they're kind of looking forward to, to building. So uh, thanks again for, for jumping on today, Lee. Yeah, thank you guys very much and uh, excited to be with everyone. Uh, we've had an amazing time meeting the staked out team ever since uh, last July at ECC. It was uh, just so much fun getting to know all of you uh, in Paris and Lisbon and now working together, uh, officially launching uh, Staked Out on Harmony. So it's it's been an incredible journey and uh, yeah, just really appreciative to be here in the new year with you guys. Yeah, likewise, man. It's 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 uh, it's been a lot of fun um, in the last few months, kind of um, you know, um, working together and everything. Um, I think you know there, like it's it's a good kind of uh, point to just sort of look back a little bit at, at what you know some of the things we we built together. Um, obviously, you know, the first um, the first thing that we shipped together was the the staking. Um, yeah. So for you know for anyone who hasn't kind of uh, used staked out before. Um, um, you know, we really want to give everyone the chance to be able to just stake all their their favorite kind of um, you know POS protocols, um, and so that was the the first thing that we shipped. Um, and obviously, yesterday, uh, the day before, I'm I'm losing it. Um, we <laughs> shipped the passive uh, USD strategy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Uh, it, it was yesterday, right? It feels like uh, a week. Ago, but... <laughs> yeah, DeFi ages you. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah. But yeah, yeah good, sure. good, re good reception so far. Um, you know, we've we've got a good inflow into the into the strategy. I think, I think the yield um, is still above like thirty six percent, which is great to see. Yeah, of course. And then, uh, you know, as you mentioned, yeah, for anybody on this, uh, on this, in this conversation, who's, uh, you know, just getting in for the first time, definitely look at uh, Staked Out. I mean, look at Harmony, but uh, you guys are doing some really great work in the space. Uh, always really loved uh, your ethos of, you know, bringing more people in, uh, increasing the size of the herd, you know, as, as uh, you would say. And uh, yeah, just bringing more people, educating people about staking, about different strategies that that they can use on blockchain. So it's been really fun. Yeah, yeah, no, appreciate appreciate that mention. Um, yeah, we we do have um, you know an educate you know an edu education component to what mm -hmm. we do. Um, obviously, the the academy. Um, anyone who hasn't checked out the academy should check it out at academy.staketow.org. Um, I think we've got a great article um, on Harmony that's just come out um, a week or so ago. Um, but but yeah, you know um, that's. I think I think you know one of the approaches we take is is um, we work very closely with our partners like like um, you know your, yourself um, with Harmony and we we're really trying to build out cool products that um, our partner communities think you know, would be cool. Um, and a part of that is, is education. Um, you know, I think there, you know, before we kind of start fielding questions and everything, um, it'd be cool to kind of talk about um, some of the things that, you know, some of the successes you've seen, Lee, um, you know, it can be, you know, whether um, Harmony itself or, you know, some of the stuff we built together. Um, and, you know, we can sort of start to talk about what's coming. Yeah, no, I think it's I think it's great. So, I mean, um, as as everyone know, uh, we we are building a uh, blockchain that is scalable, that uh, is you know very fast and very easy for uh, actually not just the current 
ecosystem. But uh, I think we're really in day one that there's really one to 10 million, you know, users in the space. And, uh, and we really want to get the next 100 million users uh, into the space. I think that's where we have a lot of alignment, um, you know, us and StakeDAO is thinking about how to make the whole experience just so much easier, right? Like we've had um, open staking for, for quite a long time on our chain. And I think with uh, just with what StakeDAO has been doing on creating an easy onboarding, easy interface, uh, and, and it's the full experience. It's the end-to-end where you have the academy where you are educating and uh, helping people understand what this even means and all the way to the, to the actual product and the technology platform where someone can very easily come in and say, okay, I have a dashboard uh, and, and I can do staking and I can go to not just Harmony and Ethereum, but other networks as well. And we're very open to all of that. And uh, also, as you mentioned, the strategies, right? So uh, the USD uh, passive strategy and, and uh, you know, everyone can, and can engage in a different way uh, in this ecosystem so that more and more people can come in, right? Not everyone will want exposure to some new crypto tokens, but I think USD is a fairly easy and stable coins are, you know, easier, uh, much easier entry ways and things for people to understand. So yeah, I'm, I'm excited. I think, uh, you know, in some ways we're kind of still in, you know, day one, the first year, uh, of course, uh, you, you all have accomplished a lot, um, even with uh, probably, I think over a billion TVL now must be, uh, but yeah, I think the the future is very very good. Yeah, we're, we're getting there. Uh, we're not we're not quite at the the billion mark yet, but um, <laughs> you know, we're I think we're eight 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 twenty five or something mm-hmm. around there. Uh, we're getting there though, but you know, um, hoping to build some stuff together that obviously will uh, you know get us over that sure. threshold. Um, but yeah, no, no, definitely. Um, I mean, as, as, a, yeah, as I said before, you know, I think, um, there's a lot of scope for us to, 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 to keep building together, um, uh, beyond, you know, uh, obviously, as you said, it's just the start, um, with the USD strategy. Um, I think there's, um, you know, a lot of stuff we're doing across, um, you know, options and, um, other types of strategies that could be, you know, could be really cool. Um, I think, you know, at that, I mean, is there anything that um, you're particularly excited about for, for Harmony this year, Lee? Yeah, I think uh, we, we actually wrote out our, uh, we've been on this project actually for four years. Um, some people may not know that we, we actually have such a long history that uh, in the first two years really was focused on the technology and launching mainnet in 2019. Uh, which is ancient history at this point, but um, and and really, it's only been the last one year that we've focused on expanding and growing the ecosystem. And uh, we actually wrote out our vision for the next four years on Harmony dot one slash twenty twenty six. So four years from now, and the goal is uh, the goal really is the same but uh, refined, right? I would say like we focus a lot on the on the platform on the technology and. The next four years will be uh, focusing on the impact and users, and really uh, building Harmony as a unifying Web three platform at the infrastructure layer, uh, so that we can support uh, a number of things. We we're very excited about uh, the the metaverse, and there are many ways you can think about this. But actually, I think it's the integration of finance work and play and so it's it's not so much um right now we have DeFi nft games and and such but uh in in a year or two these will all be blended together right uh and you can stake with your nfts you can play game and earn tokens like all, all of this is converging and metaverse is just the overarching label that that uh combines all of these things but that's the, that's just going to be your life and you know, DAOs uh, will certainly grow much bigger this year. Maybe the year of DAOs uh, and DAO tooling this year. That uh, that's also part of the metaverse, right? You can work uh, within within this Web three um, ecosystem. And so our goal is uh, really to be the supporting platform that allows the next a hundred million users to come in to this ecosystem. And and that will require uh, 
scaling and solutions that we've we we haven't had to have before. Um, and so another area that we're spending a lot of our resource and effort is zero knowledge proofs that we know it's the right direction. Uh, we have seen um, n- a number of products launch on Ethereum mainnet or testnet that we we know that we can uh, bring to to harmony to other ecosystems. And so I would say the uh, the three themes for us this year is really uh, metaverse, uh, DAOs, and uh, and zero knowledge on on the technical level. So yeah, those are those are all the exciting things we we wrote about all of them in um, in uh, open.harmony.one. It's the website that uh, has all of our all of our ideas, and so uh, definitely would encourage everyone to read about it, give us feedback, uh, help us build this world that we're all very excited about. Amazing, and and just on the let's kind of maybe just briefly unpack some of those. Like on the uh, on the DAO front, um, you know, what are you picturing this looking like for Harmony? Uh, I've seen that you, you you know you guys have a pretty sizable grant for mm-hmm. uh, or you know, commitment to to building DAOs. Um, what's that going to look like for you? Yeah, so let me just tell you the the biggest uh, vision first, and then we'll we'll unpack from there. So in four years, we want uh, our entire treasury and ecosystem to be in uh, DAOs and even 10,000 of them, uh, meaning that there will be, uh, so it's not going to be one giant DAO. It will actually be very uh, focused and specific. Like we have validator DAO. We have a validator DAO that is focused on, you know, what the validators care about, a community DAO that, that cares about the community uh, developer DAO. And so each of these will actually coordinate with each other. Um, if you think about, I, I would still say our our North Star is looking at uh, the Ethereum ecosystem where really it's very decentralized and uh, um, that there are so many, there are thousands of uh, projects, companies uh, that coordinate. Uh, sometimes the coordination is very tough, but you know it's still a very decentralized and open ecosystem. And we want, our ecosystem to look like that, where it, there won't be any single entity, there won't be a, a one giant DAO, there'll be many, many DAOs that uh, work on different part of the ecosystem and uh, even all the regional DAOs, right? Like we've encouraged so many, I actually see some some of the folks on this, uh, on this call uh, who are part of our DAOs and they're part of our regional DAOs, whether it's Spanish or French and we'll be, um, launching more of them so we have tw- we've we started 25 of uh 25 DAOs last year and uh we hopefully can get past 100 DAOs uh in this year itself and uh really yeah and and just keep and just keep growing uh from there so so uh that's kind of that's the long-term vision that uh, will be very very decentralized and and in fact the whole world right not just like I think our ambitions in blockchain today is still quite small. Like we're focused on, you know, everyone, uh, even, even a billion dollar TVL is like, okay, that's, that's a huge number. But uh, in the grand scheme of the entire global economy and all the people on this planet, like we're still very early. And so 10,000 DAOs sounds like a big number, but in four years we might look back and say, oh, well, that, that was, ob- that should have been obvious or that was going to be inevitable. So um, yeah, we have, we have very uh, we have a very big dream, and uh, hopefully we'll work towards that this year. Should I keep going? I think you're on mute, John. Dropped out for a second. No, no. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I did catch the the tail end of that. Um, so, I mean, like, what um, what are you personally seeing um, in terms of the future of DAOs? Um, you know, what are some of the sectors and maybe um, aspects of society do you think will be disrupted by this? I, yeah, I think um, it's both work and play. Like the the line of you know, our, our entire lives will kind of be um, part of DAOs. Like we will actually work for DAOs instead of work for like companies. Um, it, even things like, uh, you know, I have friends who are consulting or they're doing 
whatever job they're doing, like they, those can all actually be uh, in form of DAOs. And now what's interesting is on the other side, you have, um, so DeFi Kingdoms is our, our you know, best game uh, on Harmony. Hello, everyone. Sorry about that, guys. Um, Twitter is in a very moody mo- mo- mode and just um, decided to shut down the space. Uh, yeah, I'm um, sorry. I think you might have to continue that train of thought now. <laughs> no worries. I, we were just talking about, I think, um, DAOs and how they'll work. And um, one thing, actually, I would say is uh, the blending of work and play, meaning um, what is work in the future, what is play in the future. We're part of DAOs. And if you look at uh, DeFi Kingdoms on Harmony, there are multiple DAOs that have spun up where you know people are playing the game and earning and and uh, really work, uh, we'll, we'll no longer work for a single company. I mean, uh, it, that, that like for the next generation, that will be a very foreign concept that there'll be so many DAOs that, uh, and people can contribute in various different ways, right? And so that's, that's the beauty of DAOs. Like in a company, you have to, um, it's, actually, it's actually very backwards. Like you spend a lot of time interviewing and trying to get in. And then once you're in, like, uh, the contribution may drop off and, and it doesn't almost even matter. Whereas in Dallas, it's like you can start right away. Uh, one day of work and contribution could be meaningful. You can start earning. And and then, um, you know, in order to keep participating, you have to keep keep contributing to the project. So it, it will be a very... Uh, we're we're going to look back on this moment in time in history and and think, wow, like that, that was a huge change. Like, why did we do things... Uh, in, in the old way, you know, uh, so our kids, our kids are going to be really, uh, really looking back on this period and say that didn't make sense why they did things uh, in that way. So yeah, that's why we think DAOs are really the future. Yeah, agreed. It's definitely more, a more like, um, kind of utopian, um, structure of, um, the gig economy, right? <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Um, it's, it's, it's it's much better. Um, I think kind of at this juncture, like you know, uh, we obviously we want to um, to give everyone a chance to 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 kind of ask their question. Um, and so, yeah, uh, you know, ideally, guys, we're going to keep questions um, related, hopefully, to um, you know the, the the products and the products that we're building together. Um, as you know, we want to keep it kind of um, relevant. So um, with that, guys, um, we're going to open up the floor to questions. Um, so I think we already have a question here. No? Um, okay, yeah. Hey. Hey. Welcome. I'm from Indonesia. Great to have you here. Now, do you have a question? What? (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Do you have a question? No question, Mr. Okay, okay, no worries, no worries. (laughs) Okay, false alarm, guys. Um, yeah. So we'd like to give you know anyone <laughs> the chance to um, to ask away. Um, so we'll just you know open up the floor now. Hey guys, um, I've got a question. So you guys are from Harmony? Yes. Um, first of all, thanks for Jess for um, bringing this space to my attention. Um, I've been, I got into Harmony when you did your um, IEO and um, yes. I've been, 
I've got a bag, but I'm I'm scared of staking it. And I just want to quickly hear why should I not be scared of staking my one? I just have a staking um, phobia. I have a fear of it being something I can't control. So help me out. How do I? Why should I stake? Well, I definitely want to answer that, um, and then let the staked out folks uh, hear their perspective as well. So. Uh, staking is all done on the protocol level. There's uh, really, um, again, as we say, you, the it's a trustless. You you can verify in the code how it works, and um, maybe not personally, but uh, there there are many validators uh, across the entire network that have been doing it for uh, almost, I think, over two years now. So it's um, it is a very battle tested uh, chain. I mean, we've been doing this for as a, as i mentioned earlier we've been building this uh project for four years and so um you know we we continue to improve it and make sure the security is the number one priority um but yeah i think i think uh that that's a that's a really good question actually in fact um the, and i think the stake dow folks have actually probably written a number of articles on stake dow academy on on why staking and and um how it works so maybe the, maybe they can say something about uh, their experience as well. Yeah, I'd love to hear that. And just so real quick, so do you have custody of your stake? Are you in control of it? Can you pull it out at any time? Is there penalties? Yeah. Let's hear from the Dow guys. Sure. And uh, you do have custody of all your tokens. Uh, you can delegate. You can you you can run a validator, but most often people delegate um, to an existing validator like Stake Dow. And uh, yeah, you can uh, un unstake at any time. There is a seven day period in which you have to wait. That's for network security, uh, but at all times you're, you're you have full custody of your tokens, and that's what makes uh, Web three the the way it is uh, is self custody. Um, Well, that's it. I came in in two minutes. I've already changed my mind. I'm going to go stake my one, <laughs> but I'll definitely look into it. I'll do my research. I won't just take your word from it. You're from the company, but you know, I really appreciate that. These two minutes have probably helped me out a lot. Thank you. Exactly. Yeah, glad, glad you got, glad you got your, your answer, Squigs. Um, you know, I would also add that, um, I mean, staking as a whole, like I, I would encourage you to kind of go and do some, um, you know, some research. You can check out our academy, um, but broadly, you know, staking is a pretty um, um, reliable um, consensus mechanism that you, you'll see across not just, you know, not just Harmony, but um, a lot of the leading blockchains. Um, you know, Ethereum itself is moving to a proof of stake consensus. Um, this is, you know, as part of the ETH2 stuff you might have seen. So, um, yeah, I mean, it, you know, now it's kind of um, up there with, you know, proof of work, yeah. um, which, yeah. you know, is kind of a, a trade-off there. But, yeah, main, main point is, you know, proof of stake is, is, is here to stay as a consensus mechanism. So um, definitely encourage you to go and, um, uh, yeah, do some, do some research on that. But, um, yeah. Well, um, if, I, if I can add something, um, the reason why you shouldn't be scared uh, from, from staking and why staking is important uh, well, uh, Lee answered the first question uh, saying that uh, staking is at the protocol level, meaning that uh, if you use a validator, uh, for for example, like StakeDAO to stake your assets, you're basically uh, using the smart contract that are deployed on the chain, and and you're not uh, uh, putting the trust on the on the on, on the validator himself, except if the validator gets a slash. But everything that you do is on the protocol level, so it's uh, part of the chain. And secondly, uh, the reason why staking is important is because um, um, uh, it, it's basically on proof of stake protocol. Uh, the fact that you are staking, you are bringing uh, the chain more secure. So the more people are staking, the more uh, the chain is uh, getting secure, and that's why it's very important. First, you by staking, you get a percentage of the inflation of the protocol. Secondly, you make the protocol more secure. And um, security-wise, I think it's actually way better to stake asset, native asset directly into the protocol, like Harmony, rather than using DeFi projects outside. Because DeFi projects outside are built on top of the protocol, but they can have some vulnerabilities inside. Where here, staking natively inside the protocol, it's at the protocol level. So it's way more secure than using 
um, a DeFi project, for example. That's awesome. Like that really helps me understand it because I've, I've always had the trust issue. I always thought that when I was staking, I was giving some element of trust to someone and it's great to know that it's in the protocol. The, the, only, the only element of trust that you're giving to the person that you're staking to is the fact that this validator will uh, validate correctly. But even if the validator gets slashed, you will lose a percentage of uh, like a penalty because the validator will get slashed and you will lose a percentage of the asset that you put at staking. But uh, most of the assets that you put a stake in, the value, not, I mean, all the validators that you uh, are in the space, most of them that are very well known, uh, like StakeDAO and others, uh, we spend enormous amount of uh, hours and time to make sure that those validators mm-hmm. uh, respect the rules and make sure that the, the, the network and the blockchain is secure. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, uh, and then we play with the rules of the protocol and we offer you um, a way, like kind of like, um, uh, it's, it's, it's like a gateway, you know, you through the smart contract of the blockchain is basically saying, okay, you will be selecting this validator to validate your assets and then all the profits and rewards, I mean, the rewards from validations will directly go to your wallet and even the cut or the fee for providing this service will be taking on chain. So even the rewards, we don't have control of rewards um, uh, as a validator perspective. Everything is made on chain. Yeah, that's a really awesome, man. I really appreciate it. And then just one more question for the team, and, and I'll let somebody else speak. Um, I heard you guys are moving into NFTs. Is that correct? So we're we're a very open and general purpose blockchain that can support. Uh, and we have a number of NFT projects uh, as well already on Harmony that, um, in fact, I think DeFi Kingdoms is the number one game. There's an NFT component in which you are collecting the heroes. Um, and we just had a Mars colony uh, NFT that sold out all the plots of uh, land on Mars in the metaverse in over 48 hours. And the floor price is, I think, 10 times higher now um, in a week. So there there are a lot of new uh, metaverse projects. Um, I, I, as, I, as I said earlier, uh, I think the label NFT will uh, slowly um, be less. I mean, of course, it'll keep growing, but. I think metaverse is really the combination of games, NFTs, even DeFi. Like DeFi projects are wrapping themselves in a bigger metaverse that it's not just, uh, I think DeFi 1.0 with liquidity mining and incentives is uh, slowly becoming an old, old um, you know, idea. And, and there will be a lot more uh, about really incorporating DeFi as just a a component of the much bigger metaverse. So, uh, yes, we, we, we think a lot about NFTs. We have cross, um, cross chain NFTs with bridges that you can actually bridge, uh, an NFT from Ethereum to harmony and back. And, and, uh, we're part of that whole ecosystem. So I guess the answer to your question is, uh, yes. And, and, and much more. Yeah, thanks for that. Like, uh, yeah, really, really stoked that I found this room. And thanks to Jess. I just saw her tweet. Um, yeah, you, you guys really helped me out with those answers. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you for um, thank you for jumping in. And you know, um, uh, you know, these these um, AMAs are meant to be like a, a safe space for anyone to ask. Um, you know, anything. So you know, no question is too is is uh, too basic or too advanced. So yeah, with that, we'll we'll take it to the the next question. But thanks a lot for for jumping in there, Squeaks. Thank you. Okay, it looks yeah. like, ah, uh, yeah. Welcome. Yep, sounds great. Hello, hey. Welcome, welcome. welcome. Hey, can you hear me? Yeah. yeah, we can hear you, Greg. Uh, okay, thanks. Uh, so, just a question real quick. Is Harmony still giving away grants for DeFi projects? Uh, yeah, the answer is yes. We still so we launched our ecosystem fund in last September. Uh, it's a three hundred million dollar ecosystem fund. We've been giving out um, grants, uh, also incentives, and yeah, uh, 
the whole process, we, we've given out a hundred grants. The whole process is done publicly on our forum. Um, in fact, uh, you know, we have a partnership with Stakedow. There's a, there's a public, uh, forum post on, on talk.harmony.one that kind of outlines our, uh, our partnership. And, um, yeah. And so, uh, yes, we continue to do that. So I would encourage, uh, I would encourage you to submit your project and, um, we'll, we'll see how we can work together. Well, uh, we have, so uh, I'm Eddie Haddad, the head developer of the Crypto Fam. We got our first uh, grant accepted by you about a uh, six months ago regarding the Crypto Family Bridge, which we're uh, approaching test and release finally after a year. And uh, we've also recently applied for a new project, a DeFi 2.0 multi-chain DEX based on Harmony. Now, we have have had much support from our validator friends and the community really loved it, Uh, but uh, we, we haven't had a reply from Harmony yet, from the Harmony team so i was concerned thought maybe like uh, the grants allocated for d5 projects were all out or we stopped the, uh, those because uh, uh, the community really is- uh, unbounded yeah. trading so any token on the decks can instantly be traded for all other tokens the liquidity the liquidity uh, rewards in it uh, doesn't even require an incentive. So the structure of it, unlike other DEXs, it unites rewards of a certain yeah. token instead of setting it into pairs. Because the DEX itself doesn't have pairs. It has t- tokens uh, and, uh, linked together. So uh, I, I just wanted to, 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 to make sure that the, the grants are still going on. And I want to ask you to like, uh, look into it. Uh, I think this uh, project is a big boost to both the Harmony ecosystem and blockchain, as the DEX itself is very gas efficient and can boost Harmony's performance by two times compared to what other DEXs using gas. Okay, by more than two times, actually. Like, uh, we, we listed a little bit of calculation in the white paper on how it can help the Harmony blockchain itself process more transactions along with the Harmony ecosystem. Yeah, no, I think that's great. Um, and so if you already submitted, uh, our team should be getting back to you uh, hopefully soon. If, if not, um, actually, my Twitter DMs are all all open so anyone can uh just dm me and i'll uh, and i'll make sure that uh, we we're on top of it and uh, reading that proposal so thank you yeah thank you cool thanks thanks for that um okay we've got another question from luke here um luke i'll just give you approval Hi, Luke. Uh, you're welcome to speak. Oh, hello. Sorry, I cut out there for a second. I was just, I have a question for Stakedow. I checked out your uh, Harmony offerings yesterday, and it looked like you had one pool set up with a, a curve pool. And I was just wondering if you could give any, I don't know if it would be a leak or not, but just any idea of what, what's coming on the horizon as far as uh, opportunities to stake on Stakedow on the Harmony network. Right. Um, um, Julian, would you like to jump in? Yeah, sure. Uh, so uh, first, uh, we deployed uh, the um, uh, the tree pool. Uh, so the um, uh, the easiest pool uh, on the harmony, and then the plan is to deploy the the, the tree pool. Uh, so this is something that we're working on. Uh, for now, we um, did the first the first one, but the plan is to integrate uh, more uh, more pools, and then build on top of of harmony. Um, in regards of, of NFTs, uh, but also um, uh, something that we've been looking into is also like some some arbitrage, uh, since we also have access to uh, uh, validations. Uh, this is some uh, some of those um, uh, products that we've been looking into to bring into Harmony. Uh, but for the second the, the the second step will be to bring the uh, uh, the pool, uh, the second pool, uh, which is basically. Uh, you'll be able to stake directly USDC, USDT, DAI, uh, BTC, and ETH. The reason why we start with this three pool is that on Harmony, uh, the volume uh, uh, by uh, five or six X way bigger on the uh, stablecoin pool uh, that we can we can have on the auto market maker curve. So it was it made more sense to start with the pool that has more volumes because obviously you have more. Um, um, uh, like fees from the volume since it's like four bips. So we start from that, and then we'll be moving into the three, three, uh, three uh, crypto pool, 
where you can uh, directly deposit either ETH, BTC, or uh, dollars. Uh, and then after that, we'll build uh, some uh, DeFi products like we've done on other chain where you can have access to a specific strategy only if you have a um, specific NFT. Um, and then we already, uh, we're going to announce a few different uh, news regarding NFTs on Harmony as well. Awesome. That's great to hear. And uh, I know you have options pools on some of your other protocols. Any any idea where that's at on Harmony or is it still too early to be thinking about that? Um. Yeah, for the options, um, the, for the options uh, strats, it's it's probably a little bit too early because we need to bring um, uh, a few different concepts uh, on the other side. So for now, we we're pretty busy at maintaining the options. I'm not sure if you saw it today, but we um, uh, closed the options. Uh, so uh, making sure that we have the correct uh, strike price, uh, selling those options because don't um, I mean, stake DAO is selling between. 50 and 60 million US dollars a week of options. So it's already like almost 300 million US dollars of options amounts to market makers. And I think this is the only protocol in the space that is doing um, something like that, the mix between traditional finance and decentralized finance. So market makers outside that are hedging their position uh, across different centralized exchanges, such as uh, Dairy Beats and, and BitMEX or FTX and all different things. And and then us building the smart contract that allow people to deposit and then predict uh, the market with the correct strike price. So as a user's perspective, you don't actually need to do anything. What at the end, you're staking into the strategy that is bringing a yield. And then we do the entire pipeline behind the scene. But to bring this into a new chain, it's uh, it requires quite a, uh, a huge amount of effort. So this is something that at the moment we prefer um, shipping a new strategy on uh, Harmony. The new strategy that we'll be shipping is the one that I explained, East BTC dollars, and this one will be receiving more rewards in, in one, so wrap one. So it also makes sense, ex- even if the, the strategy is not making, is making six times less volume per day, but it's making way more uh, inside of rewards, plus the rush on top of it. So I think we can still like ship uh, a new feature on Harmony, and then baby step, we'll go into the NFT market and then continue there. Sounds great. Thank you for your info. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay. Should we let the next... Yep. Yeah. Who's uh, who's next? One. Yeah. Please um, feel free to ask away, guys. Uh, we've got about twenty minutes left before we have to wrap up. I think we need to just let a few people uh, come in out here. Add a speaker. Hey, how about ho- how about Hoddle? Hoddle the future, Johnny. AK Johnny. I have a question. Hashtag DeFi Kingdoms. Hashtag DeFi Kingdoms. <laughs> Absolutely. I have a question about um, spam. So what have you learned about the spam transactions in the past 24 hours and how can the community, DeFi Kingdoms community especially, help resolve these issues and prevent them in the future? So, um, yeah, as you mentioned, uh, there's the network uh, has, you know, maybe not just us, but uh, there's definitely uh, spam attacks on the network. And it's it's quite uh, common, I would say. I don't know. We don't know the source, uh, but the entire engineering team is working on it. And we are, you know, we have some ideas of how to mitigate this, uh, whether it's uh, creating some higher, creating, blocking certain um certain uh, attack vectors or uh, the other one is we're actually going to increase uh, the gas price slightly so that uh, it makes it harder for someone just to spam a ton of transactions and um, as far as uh, as far as DeFi kingdoms the the it's really uh, it's not something that the community can do it's more like we we actually uh, working closely with all of our validators to uh, to kind of sync up to a version of the network and the nodes so that 
we can uh, make sure that we upgrade the network so that there's more friction to prevent people from spamming it with a slightly higher gas fee. And uh, yeah, just just making sure that uh, we can actually support the traffic, support the traffic like DeFi Kingdom set that are legitimately uh, real transactions uh, to help you make a, make the experience better. So um, not, not much for like the community to do uh, other than just, uh, yeah, just follow for any of the validators who are on this call, um, follow our uh, discord, Reddit and uh, Twitter so that you guys can uh, sync with us and upgrade uh, your nodes as we have uh, more updates coming today. All right. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for that. Let's see. Yeah, guys, we have a, we have time for a couple more questions, so um, yeah. yeah, feel free to jump in. Yeah, uh, crypto, crypto one. Yeah, so I have a couple of questions. First question is: uh, Yesterday, I got the email from Binance US. They are stop uh, stacking one. So now I want to stack it. I am stacking uh, through the stacking.harmony.com. Is there any other way I can stack it? Uh, because uh, there is a no uh, uh, Coinbase. Sub Coinbase is not supporting uh, one. So that another question. Do you guys in a close contact with the Coinbase to list the one? Because there are a lot of other projects which is not that uh, great. Still Coinbase listed. And... Uh, Coinbase is not listing one. So that is the one question. And I am a holder from the one since uh, two and a half years. And I have a big bag mm -hmm. for uh, one. So I believe in this project and I would like to continue uh, to keep my one. But I would like to get the reward also. So I'm using a stacking dot one dot harmony. But do you have any other yeah. wallet uh, suggestion? Yeah. So, well, thank you for for that. And uh, of course, we we should mention Staked Out um, in this conversation. Uh, but you you can definitely uh, continue to stake outside of exchanges. Uh, you stake natively on the protocol. And as uh, as Julian was uh, mentioning earlier, that it's uh, it's better to work with uh, validators who are directly uh, validating the protocol itself uh, versus um, another third party, let's say, and um, as far as uh, yes, as far as Coinbase and, and all this, we, we can uh, you know what we can say is that we're working with all of the partners that um, that we can to kind of get Harmony into more places. There's really uh, I can't really actually comment on uh, any thing specific regarding a particular one, but uh, but you can you can uh, you can rest assured that we are talking to all the partners and. And actually, yeah, we want everyone in the world to be able to access uh, access the tokens, uh, whether it's directly or through through an exchange. I mean, that's just the reality uh, that we that we live in. That there 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 must be fiat gateways, uh, and there are many of them um, that support one today. But uh, of course, we're talking to more. So, um, so yes, uh, yes, please please continue to uh, stake with validators with StakeDAO and uh, and um, find. Uh, find some uh find some of these new partners to work with thank you appreciate it yeah yeah and also like um uh, this is something that uh we've done across uh different other strategies as uh snapshotting for example like snapshotting on um on the activity that you have on the entire uh stake dao uh platform uh, so um uh, the idea is uh, what we're trying to to put in place is also like for example if you are staking into um, uh, into harmony on stake DAO, uh, we'll we'll uh, build, we are trying to build uh, some mechanism that can do on a weekly basis uh, some um, specific rewards um, so I, I don't want to say like a time or whatever uh, but this is something that we've been looking into on the on the staking as a service uh, operation that we we currently running is that um, uh, Instead of you staking into Coinbase or Binance or other uh, centralized exchanges, where you uh, put your one into your own wallet, so then you own the keys, and then by staking directly into uh, a validator like uh, StakeDAO, you're not only receiving the rewards of uh, the inflation of the protocol, but also uh, based on the activity that you're doing on the DAO, 
we can take a snapshot of the activity on the validator and then retroactively speaking, uh, airdrop some specific features such as the thing that was mentioning before, NFTs or uh, having access to a specific strategy because we're doing arbitrage. So the reason why you should always try, and I know this is very time consuming, uh, trying to, uh, like, uh, sometimes you need to use a strong project changes because they have better liquidity or they have better features. But uh, uh, being actors of, being an actor of uh, DeFi projects uh, in the global scope of the entire scope of, of, of DeFi, like uh, a staking as a service strategies um, or uh, NFT market, if you're doing this outside the exchanges, then you have way more leverage because you might receive some additional rewards from the inflation of the protocol, from the rush, uh, from uh, NFT later on, giving you access to a specific strategy. So the opportunity is way higher outside uh, central exchanges, and then sometimes you have or you need to use them. But currently what we're doing is like we want to reward people um, we want people that are adding activity on stake down and staking directly into uh, our validator for for harmony uh, is there any wallet where do you guys suggest specifically outside the exchange well like the um, the harmony chrome extension i mean just the one i mean i'm not sure that maybe lee is probably the better better place for for this uh, answer yeah, we're actually um, also working with Mask Wallet, uh, and uh, we we actually want to enable staking with MetaMask, so that I think just so many users use MetaMask that we uh, we are uh, hopefully going to ship that this month, so that people can just stake uh, via MetaMask and uh, add Harmony as a network. That'll be the easiest uh, actually experience and most users. Uh, thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Great, guys. We've probably got time for one more question. Um, so, yeah, feel free to jump in. Let's, uh, I think, EDD e Norris. Okay. Hello. Hello. Let's see. Hey, hey EDD Norris. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. hey. Um, so I had a question. Uh, first, uh, to piggyback on the last question, you can use the Blitz wallet and stake directly. Um, uh, just to throw that out there. Um, so uh, my question was about the the minimum fee uh, change, um, and specifically, um, what the thinking was around why and how it was set up and if something like that should be something that would be uh, voted on to change. I know that there was some sentiment of, of it being done to address a problem. Um, yes. And I also know that there was some disgruntled kind of attitude around that not being put to a vote. And if there was any kind of moment to speak on that. Yeah, certainly. Um, so, I think with blockchain, there's some trade-offs. So we, we definitely understand it's not uh, the perfect uh, way or the perfect system in that we want to keep the fees very low. Uh, I think changing it to a slightly higher fee is um, is a short-term decision that, we, that, we, uh, that we're really doing just to, uh, for the sake of the network itself and the health uh, of the network to make sure that uh, it is operating smoothly for you know ninety nine percent of the use cases, and so is that something that uh, that that's actually something that we can still evolve right as as the protocol uh, grows that we can make it uh, maybe that we'll maybe we can change the fee actually back uh, to be just as low. So right now it it really would not affect uh, most users except for actually preventing the spam transactions that are that are having uh pretty massive massive volume on the network but no utility so that's the main rationale behind uh that why that happened um but yes i mean i think our our team uh understand the trade-off that we have to make uh as we grow and and actually uh as we scale there there may be um that we, we have come up with uh, newer solutions to some of these problems but this is uh this is what we can do in the short term 
thank you. That's, uh, that's basically what I was thinking as well. Um, yeah. And uh, it sounds great. I think the yeah. governance model uh, makes makes it possible to do these things um, yeah. in, in time. Uh, yeah. So that's, it's just great. Thank you. Great. Well, I th thanks, guys. I think we'll we'll sort of wrap up the the, the questions there, as we're you know we're kind of um, out of time here. But um, you know, to anyone who's just um, you know come across StakeDAO um, from the Harmony community, um, you know, basically the the kind of recap is is um, we've shipped um, the uh, passive USD strategy on Harmony just a couple of days ago. Um, so you can go onto our website and um, check that out. I think, you know, current yield is somewhere around 35 36%. Um, we've also shipped, as um, previously discussed on this call, um, our staking validator solution. So um, you can also stake one from our dashboard pretty easily. Um, you know, Lee, we're really excited to keep um, keep working together. As Julian mentioned, um, you know, you can you guys can definitely expect more strategies to be shipped um, in in the in the coming months um, on Harmony, um, and yeah, you know, um, really really thankful for everyone um, who's come across us um, from the Harmony community, and um, you know, like to say welcome to 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 the herd. That's what we call our community at Stakedale. So, um, Lee, um, any kind of closing thoughts on your end? Yeah, really excited to just grow the herd with you guys and um, with everyone on this call. Uh, definitely, I think, I mean, the only thing I, I would add is that it's still such an exciting time to be in Web3, to be building that uh, That really uh, the, these AMAs and Twitter spaces is to, is to welcome uh, new people, new builders, new users, and uh, definitely reach out to uh, this community. Um, help each other. I mean, we've always been doing that. We've been doing that for four years, and and uh, and really, hopefully, uh, you know, you can do something amazing uh, and and life changing this year in 2022. So uh, I hope everyone have a great uh, great start to their year, and uh, looking forward to working with many of you in this year. Hey, before you guys go, can I ask one final question? Go for it. I think we got about five minutes. Yeah. What? is your guys's most anticipated project in the future that uh, early investors and adopters should look for? So uh, I, I'll give you a short answer. The, the, the answer is uh, it's on our roadmap. It's harmony.one slash 2026 and uh, harmony.one slash launch. We put everything public. So um, the alpha is already on, on the website, uh, but uh, I'm, I'm, I'm very excited about the, uh, zero knowledge and and DAOs, as i mentioned uh I, i'm not sure if there's one thing I, I think there's a number of things that we're doing and uh you, you'll you actually you'll you'll see all of it uh publicly on on our page we're very we're very open about uh, what we're working on okay awesome thanks great well um thanks again lee and thanks again to you know everyone from you know, both the Harmony community and our community um, who've, who've jumped on this call, um, especially the people who've, you know, put their heads above the parapet and asked questions. Really appreciate it. Um, yeah, super excited to, to keep working together, Lee. Um, and uh, yeah, see you guys in the metaverse. Yeah, thanks everyone. Thanks to the entire <laughs> Staked Out team. See you soon.